they don't have even one. Uh, also the youth, they fear because uh, the challenges that come with from the heavy resources that uh, are needed and probably even the, uh, the certificates. There are people who want to be leaders but they, they don't qualify when they go for those uh, NEC qualifications. So we are here today to encourage our youth, to encourage women and to tell them that uh, leadership has no limits and it does not belong to one uh, category, that is the male, but also uh, from uh, both uh, sides. It's been one year since we, one year and some months since we last did our elections and most of the time the culture has been when leaders are elected, they disappear from one inch. But we want to reverse that, that when a leader is elected, you come back to one inch. That is the whole essence of uh, this conversation and uh, as you can see that uh, the public, the citizens of this area are very eager to share with their leaders but also to learn from their leaders because when there is understanding between the two sides then there is development in Kenya. This is just a series of uh, uh, similar activities that will be done in other areas uh, but we are very happy and honoured that Moshimiwa uh, insisted that we start here. Ti and Nyamira County are notorious counties. We have never elected a member of parliament as a woman. So we want to discuss, we want to understand these issues. What is it that is happening? Why don't we support uh, you know, the women leadership? On matters also FGM, we want to discuss those issues here. And if there is anything, uh, we want the resolutions coming here to be tabled in Bunga, either the county assembly, I can see the Weshimiwa are here, they should be able to table any resolution arrived at uh, from this point today. Good to Lenore in the politics, the youth, the women, and also the adults. And actually, politics is a, it is a competitive field. Every policy is around to, to play politics. We don't bar a politics that don't bar a youth from contesting. That's not bar a woman from contesting. Everybody is allowed to contest. But what we want to do, uh, we, we eradicate uh, discrimination. Our people to eradicate discrimination. They take all our people equal, whether a woman or a youth can make a good leader. Find a way of incorporating young people into, for example, farming, which can be able to generate income for, for the young people, for the women. You know, these are easier ways. So I know you are thinking about the small loans accessible to young people. Because without land, without title deeds, women and the young people cannot access credit to engage the people so that we are able to move this county to the next level. For the first 10 years we have been there, I know we have been doing what we call basement, you know, we have been setting the, the account. But I think now with the support from the MPs from Nairobi, and as here the leaders are at the account level led by the governor and uh, my good friend the senator and the county MP, we form the leaders of this county, good county of Kisi. Uh, so let us work on foundation. Uh, at the parliamentary, young parliamentarians level, uh, this is nothing new for us. It's something that we keep trying to do. Encourage the young parliamentarians to keep engaging and empowering communities, especially those who elected them. Because it is the intention of KYPA to ensure more women are elected, uh, more young people are elected into office. So as, as we transform the face of Kenya, we are transforming it by the generation that uh, should inherit.